Hey guys, so I'm just gonna do a quick book haul for you because I haven't done one of these since I said I was gonna do them and I don't know why. Pretty much just because I haven't been buying books. But this summer I bought some and this is like the collective summer book haul. So I'm just gonna get right into it. <clears throat> Sorry my voice is cracking. I'm a 14 year old boy. The first one is a book that I actually never read when I was younger. I read other books by Gail Carson Levine but not Fairest, which is this and it's the Snow White version of um, her fairy tale retellings and I'm really excited about it. I haven't gotten around to reading this yet. I bought it at the very beginning of summer off... I think I bought it in some sort of... I don't remember where I bought it. I think um, it was either some sort of thrift shop or on Amazon Marketplace because it's pretty beat up because it's an old book. But um, yeah, I bought this and I'm excited to read it. The next one I got when I was in Portland, I bought it at Powell's because it was on sale for five bucks and it is Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. and people have been telling me to read this for ages because I love travel books and this is a road trip book. So I am excited to read this. I think I want to read it before I leave because it's a summer read and that'll be fun. The next one I've been looking forward to for months because of the cover and pretty much no other reason but it's so gorgeous and it is Serafina by Rachel Hartman and look at this cover. Is this not? I think this is one of my favorite covers of all time and I haven't even read the book yet so that's saying something. As for what the book is actually about, couldn't really tell ya. It's uh, fantasy which I'm really excited about because I haven't read fantasy in ages and that's pretty much it. It's fantasy dragon story. I think that the girl, the main character, is actually part dragon or something along those lines. So yeah. The next is a really interesting book. It is Thorn and Blossom by Theod Theodora Goss. Goss. Sorry if I've mispronounced that. It's really interesting because it's a two-sided love story. So on this side you have um, Brendan's story and on this side you have Evelyn's story. And basically you can read the book two ways. So you see it kind of folds out like that, so you read the book one way, and then you can turn it around and read it the other way, which I think is amazing. Like, that's crazy. So I'm excited to read this. It's double-sided. The font's pretty big, so I think it'll be a fairly quick read. I guess it's not too big. Um, but yeah, it's just a love story, and I don't really, I don't usually read a lot of love stories, but this was too cool to pass up, so I bought that on Amazon Marketplace as well because it's kind of expensive, presumably because it costs a lot to print. But also look how pretty it is, it's just so nice. The next two are ones I bought at a um, Goodwill near me, and they are both Bill Bryson books. The first one is Notes from a Small Island, which is his UK book, I believe, and it's full of loads of UK travel anecdotes. I've never read any Bill Bryson, I've been meaning to for years, and I actually have his Shakespeare book, and I really need to get around to reading him, so I saw these both and I just picked them up immediately. This cover is really cool because it looks, there's a tea bag here and it's like covered in tea. The other Bill Bryson book I got was In a Sunburned Country, and it is the Australia book he wrote. Um, and this one sounds really cool because I don't know a lot about Australia, to be perfectly honest. I haven't read a lot of Australia-related books, and I think this will be a good one because Bill Bryson is known for being fantastic. And the final physical book I have to show you guys is the most exciting one because I've also been waiting for this one for months, and it is Ripper by Stefan Petrusha. Um, and this is a story about Jack the Ripper. I've been waiting to read this forever. I saw the cover months ago and I was like, need that. I love Jack the Ripper stories. This one looks amazing and this is what I'm going to be reading next, I think. The rest of the books I have to show you guys are on my Kindle and they're not as exciting to show but I figured I'd show you them anyway. I bought the first three books in the Pretty Little Liar series. I've told you about two of them and I bought the third one. I haven't started it yet, we'll see what happens. <laughs> the next book I bought was Lunch in Paris by Elizabeth Bard, and the cover looks like that. It actually looks better on camera than it does in real life because it's kind of dark in real life. But it is kind of a love story with recipes involved in it, and I just thought it was cute, and I saw it on Amazon, so I just kind of got it. And I'd like to try out the recipes, I haven't read the book yet, but um, yeah, I'll let you guys know how that goes. The final book is one I've been thinking about getting for a while haven't gotten around to reading it because unfortunately I haven't heard great reviews about it but I love time travel and so I kind of had to pick this up because it's YA time travel and it is called Tempest by Julie Cross and I can't seem to find a cover but it's the cover um if you see the cover in a shop it's like two people holding hands in the sky and there's lightning and it's not a very cool cover, I don't like the cover very much. But um, yeah, I want to read Tempest because I love time travel stories and it's kind of a, a YA time travel so that sounds fun. And that is all for the books that I picked up this summer. Let me know if you've read any of these and which ones I should read first. I really want to read both Serafina and Ripper but yeah, I definitely want to read them all. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time, bye!